สวัสดีค่ะตามชื่อไดเทปคำค่ะ I'm a mindful chef Of course, it's farm to table. The food comes from the farm. The point is, you know, looking at the whole system, like how is the farm actually growing, starting from there, and then how are you taking this um, ingredient from the farm into your kitchen? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with it? How are you then acting responsibly, like responsibly with the ingredient, and then you know showcasing it? I think it's more than farm to table. I think it's the full cycle of right. food production. They they can't really demand it when they don't truly understand it. Because even consumers right now they don't truly understand the meaning of sustainable food and responsible sourcing. There's a, I think we have a lot of ways to go in terms of um, food education for the consumers. We do a lot of. Preservation. We do a lot of fermenting, um, pickling. You know, just to increase the shelf life. If you really think about it, if you have this, the right systems in place, mm -hmm. there is no reason why you should be wasting. And by waste, I mean going to landfill, right? Because we have waste that comes out of our kitchen, but it goes into compost. <coughs> you know, staff meal or stocks. Yeah, it's because we produce waste and we want to manage it. For me, I don't see a, a need for one. I think if they knew about what happens and you know how much is wasted every time you know go enjoy a buffet, I think right. they would be less inclined to go. A Thai Thai people are very reactive to um, media. You need influencers. You mm -hmm. need celebrities. You need someone who can mm -hmm. really connect with them to right. start this movement and be like, hey, well, this is something that. Affects our generation, you know, and it is. It's them that's gonna suffer, and generations after them. I think that's the point that you need to get. But it's it's kind of extreme to say that you know you have to provoke fear, but I think it, it you do. Yeah. yeah.